Hi there, Hereford High athletes. Um, it's kind of crazy that we are doing our awards virtually this year instead of in person. We guys, we miss y'all a ton. Um, this time has been very, very difficult, very frustrating, um, very challenging and frightening. And, and uh, you know, I know most of you guys know uh, pretty painful this, this last week. Uh, just a big virtual hug to Coach Delosier and his family and the loss of of his dad and um, we are we are so sorry things can change in just a moment and um, we uh, we will keep them in our thoughts and our prayers over these next weeks um, so this time of year has also made us appreciate the opportunities that we've had and and uh, you know we just sort of took for granted that our, our chances to practice every day with the people that we're closest to and the chance to participate to compete uh, with some of our best friends would would be here anytime that we wanted it and until we graduated or even further than that um, so uh, we missed it uh, and uh, but it, there was just some great individual performances some great team performances uh, over the year and uh, maybe not as many in the spring as we would have liked to have had obviously but uh, nonetheless it was it was a, a wonderful year and, and you guys as ha as athletes for Herford High have just made us so proud um, in so many ways this year. Um, lots of thank yous that we need to uh, just kind of give some short shout outs about. Thanks to our coaches and their families, uh, the time they spend uh, working for, for our athletes and for our success is, is just tremendous. Uh, thanks also to uh, the families of our athletes and uh, they give us great support and, and I know there's times all of us as athletes have gone home uh, and been very frustrated with things and uh, we thank you parents for for helping help keep us going thanks to the booster club or white face booster club they are always trying to make each sport feel very special and, and we appreciate everything that you do to support our kids thanks again to the teachers we, we don't give them enough credit sometimes they work uh, a ton as well and try to make your experiences in high school the, the best experiences that you could possibly have and and I think they uh, they do and, and they need our appreciation our cheerleaders um, the mighty maroon band the mighty maroon color guard thanks to you guys I mean y'all y'all travel all over the place with with many of us and uh, we can't tell you enough how much we appreciate you and the things that you do thanks to our campus uh, and our district administration um, you guys uh, help us get to where we're going and feel very special about what we're doing as well. So we appreciate you. And then finally, thanks. There's so many people behind the scenes working with all these groups that I just talked about who, um, who help us every day get to enjoy the, the, uh, the things that we've gotten to enjoy over, over these many, many years. Seniors, we're going to miss you guys. Um, y'all have been great and, and wonderful leaders for us. And, uh, uh, we hope you're going on to some great, great opportunities in whatever uh, realm you, you choose to pursue. Uh, those of you who are still here, we hope we get to see you on the, on the fields and the courses and the courts and the gyms and the tracks, every place uh, where you've made us so proud. So um, thanks again. Our coaches are going to say a few words, and let's get on with this. Thank you. Well, good afternoon, Herd fans, and thanks for joining us uh, for this special occasion of our athletic awards for the year 2020. Uh, what a strange time we're living in, and what, what a crazy, crazy atmosphere this has been. Uh, first of all, let's let you know, seniors, we're proud of y'all. Golly, we miss being with you, and we, we want to be with you even more so that we can uh, not only have y'all compete for us and not even have you enjoy the, the thrills of competition, but just simply because of the thrill that we get out of being with y'all and, and why we do what we do. So I, I want to say thank you to the seniors for the things that they've done through the course of this year, uh, how hard they've competed for us, and how well they've done. Uh, everywhere we go, we have compliments on our kids and how they act when they're out in public together, and, and that makes us really proud as coaches. Uh, I want to say thanks to the Booster Club and, and for the things that they do for us and, and the things that they, they provided for us over the course of the year. Thanks to the parents and, and the administration for helping us uh, to impart some wisdom to our kids over, over the course of the year. And, 
and thanks to the kids for the relationships that they've helped us foster. Uh, we know that this has been a crazy year, and anybody that's been with me in, in locker rooms before we play football games or, or heard me talk about what I think the, the great things are about athletics knows that one of the things I talk about is simply the blessing that we get by being able to compete together and the family atmosphere that gets created on teams and how we are so fortunate to get to be a part of that and to live that and, and to try to grow together to, to, to live examples of great teamwork and great friendships and great relationships. We're thankful for that. And this time has provided us the opportunity to know that those aren't just a given. They can be taken away at any given time. And, and for that, we need to understand that when we get back together, if there's a chance we get back together to some kind of normal, uh, we need to be thankful for the blessings that we have of being able to compete together and enjoy each other and to be able to compete in athletics. Uh, what a great joy that is, what a great pleasure that is, and what, how fun it is for, for families and fans and just people all around to get to be a part of, and we look forward to that. Man, what a great year that you've provided us with. Seniors, we, we thank you for your leadership. We thank you for the successes that we've had. You have to be able to, to say, hey, congratulations to the volleyball team, to the girls' basketball team, to the tennis team, to the wrestlers who qualified for state tournaments, uh, to the football team for being in the playoffs, for uh, the things that were coming in the spring, for the golf players that were doing well. We, we are so thankful for the things that y'all have provided us. And I know I've probably missed some, and I don't want to offend anybody, but know that it's been a great year, and part of that is because of the leadership that our seniors have given us, and we're thankful for that. We want to tell uh, the Herd Nation, thank you for the things that y'all have done supporting us through the course of the year. We want you to be able to enjoy uh, this video and, and the virtual awards that are being given. Uh, know that, that we're proud to be a part of this community. We're proud of the support that our parents give. And we're proud of, of what they try to uphold our athletic standards to. And we're thankful for that. Um, along, the, along those lines, know that, that our family's been through a really tough time over the last, last couple of weeks in, in dealing with the passing of a man that, that held hurt athletics to a, a high esteem in his mind and loved to be a part of it and loved to be a part of the fun that went with supporting all the different herd teams and, and the, the point of the family atmosphere and the relationships that have been gained through athletics in Hereford over the course of the years. My dad was proud of his community and he was proud of our athletics programs. And I'm thankful for the support that people have given us through this time. Thank you for that. So enjoy the day, enjoy this time, enjoy the, the atmosphere of, of getting to provide awards for people who have done a tremendous job for us through the course of the year. Seniors, we're proud of you, we're gonna miss you, we love you and we wanna be with you. Please remember to have a great afternoon today. Enjoy your time together and remember that God loves you. Have a great day. Go Herd. Good afternoon, Herd Nation. Um, I'm Sarah Balch. I'm the head athletic trainer for Hereford ISD. And I'm out here at Whiteface Stadium today to be able to announce the award for the student trainer of the year. Um, I am so blessed to have an incredible group of young men and women that work with me every day to help keep our athletes in all sports going. I couldn't do what I do without them. Uh, this year's award goes to a senior that's been part of our program for three years. This young man works tirelessly to help with any sport he can. He's worked not only with football but also with women's basketball and softball and is such an important part of both of those teams. Um, everything that he does helps to make everybody else around him better and he truly serves other people. So I'm excited and thankful to announce that the winner of the Student Trainer of the Year Award for the 2019-2020 school year is Mr. Nicholas Olvetta. Nicholas, I'm so proud of you, so thankful for you. Congrats, you've earned this, buddy. Hi, everybody. I wanted to uh, thank all the baseball kids for everything that they did this year and the progression that they were making. Um, I hate the fact that our season got cut short the way it did, and I really want to thank the seniors, uh, Britt Cave, Ty Davis, Petey Dominguez, Marcos Ortiz, uh, Aiden Suarez, and Zach Stroud. I, I'm sorry, fellas, it got cut the way it did. Uh, you guys are doing a great job. 
Um, just wanted to let you guys know, we decided, coaches decided that we were going to have two MVPs this year. These are two kids that have done an outstanding job for us over the last few years. Um, we're definitely helping our program get in the right direction and uh, have great things ahead of them for both of them in, in college and farther on. Um, our two MVPs are Aiden Suarez and Britt Cave. Hello, Lady Whiteface basketball fans. I'd like to now present the awards for the 2019-2020 Lady Whiteface basketball season. The season ended uh, with a 24-10 record in the regional tournament. Great season. The Coach on the Floor Award goes to Nyali Acosta. The Most Improved Player Award goes to Miranda Acosta and Lacey Davis. The Newcomers of the Year Awards go to Lily Skiles and Nikaila Watley. And of course, our Basketball MVP goes to Texas Girls Coaches Association All-State player Tatum Stowe. I would also like to say that Nyali Acosta was also given the award from the Texas Girls Coaches Association All-State player. Congratulations, girls. Hi, this is Coach Loftus Hereford Boys Basketball to give out our basketball awards. First award is a new award called the Hustling Hurt Award. This award was voted on by the team and went to a player that embodied the values, spirit, and dedication to the team. This player was an exceptional teammate and led by example. The first ever Hustling Hurt Award goes to senior Ty Davis. Ty was our lone senior on the team and he left everything on the floor night in and night out. Ty was also voted honorable mention all district. Second award is our defensive MVP. This award was also voted on by the team and the award goes to Chris Ball. Chris Ball led our team in steals this year. Our last award is our offensive MVP and this award goes to Blake Walker. Blake averaged 16.8 points per game and was voted offensive MVP of District 34A as well as first team all district. Thank you. Hello, I'm Coach Huerta, and I am the head cross-country coach. Um, this year for our cross-country award, we'll be going to Tommy Gonzalez. Um, this uh, student showed much growth uh, when it comes to uh, working out uh, in competition. Um, he helped uh, our team uh, be as successful as we were this year. Our cross-country award for the girls' side will be going to uh, Katie McCathern and Melanie Hakes. Uh, both of these girls showed tremendous amount of growth throughout the year. They were both our co-captains for the year, helped us go through uh, a second place at district, third place at regionals, and a third place finish at state meet. Both of these girls have shown tremendous amount of growth, and we are very pleased to give this award to these kids. All right. So I'm giving away the defensive MVP, and the kid that gets this is hardworking, uh, is a rock for our defense, and he's been a starter for three years for us. And when I watch him play, what, what I see the most is heart and effort. He gives so much effort and so much heart every single time that he's out there, and I've really enjoyed coaching this kid. I coached him in junior high. Uh, in eighth grade, and then I got the privilege to coach him again as as his uh, position coach his senior year. And I cannot say how excited I was uh, to get to do this, and how much how much fun it was this year in not only coaching him but learning from him as well. So Cano, uh, Jaden Cano, congratulations on getting the uh, defensive MVP this year. This Thanks. is Coach Avon here. I'm here to give the Offensive MVP awards for the 2019 football season. Uh, the first one goes to Britt Cave. Uh, he threw for about 1,700 yards during the regular season. That was a big part of how we moved the football down the field. We count a lot on Britt. 
Um, did a good job leading our football team as well. Um, Xavier Gonzalez is the second award winner. He rushed for about 1,200 yards, averaged 5.6 yards to carry during the regular season. Um, both of these guys we depended heavily on on the offense, both great leaders, uh, both depending on those guys a whole bunch this year. Um, congratulations again to Britt and Xavier, and go Herd. The 2019-2020 Girls MVP Award goes to a young lady who has participated in golf throughout her high school career, has come to practice on the weekends, um, has done everything she could to, to be a part of the team and stuck with it through her senior year. The 2019-2020 Girls MVP Award goes to Samara Garcia. The 2019-2020 Boys MVP Golf Award goes to a young man who has participated in golf for three years. He is a junior. He plays on the weekends. He plays National Junior Golf Tour. He plays the North Texas PGA Golf Tour. He does well in school. He's a part of law enforcement classes. The 2019-2020 Boys MVP Golf Award goes to Hector Cavazos Jr. Hey guys! The 2020 softball season did not end the way we would have liked it to thanks to COVID-19. But we were super blessed to at least get 19 games in, which is half of our season. So this year when deciding the 2020 Softball MVP Award, we went with an athlete who's been on varsity for the last three years. This year, she had a batting average of 463 with two home runs, 19 RBIs, nine runs scored, and caught eight girls stealing. So your 2020 softball MVP goes to Kayla Vallejo. Hi there, Cody Crouch, head tennis coach. I'm excited to recognize two tremendous athletes today. First, he won 54 matches playing the toughest competition at number one singles and number one doubles. He was named first team singles and second team all district doubles. Before our season was cut short, he and his partner beat every boys doubles team in Region 1-4A. He undoubtedly would have made a strong state run this spring. My boys tennis MVP is Nikolas Villalobos. On the ladies side, there's no one more dominant in our area. Her incredible performance transcends the panhandle and state validity has been part of her conversation since the beginning of the year. She won 61 matches and for the second year in a row was the District 3-4A MVP. While her spring season was cut short, she was a virtual shoe-in to have a state title run. She'll get another crack at it next year. My girls tennis MVP, and arguably the best female tennis player in Hereford tennis history, Victoria Betson. Hello everybody, I'm Coach Huerta, I'm the head girls track coach. Uh, this year, uh, track award is going to go to an amazing young lady uh, who uh, overcame a lot of challenges that came her way this year. Uh, she was uh, outstanding, showed much growth, uh, showed like she was going to have many, many successes this season um, with uh, all the circumstances that we were going through and are going through um, our track award. We're going to Jazzeriana Gonzalez. Hello, this is Coach Garza announcing the two, 2020 Boys Track Most Valuable Player Award. Our award this year goes to an individual who's been in track and field for all four years of his high school high school career. He spent most of that time on varsity. He's been an integral part of all our relays at one time or another. Uh, with no postseason this year, this year he went to uh, area in all the relays as a junior. He was well on his way to doing that same. Uh, thing again this year, but we were not able to complete the season. The most valuable player award in boys track and field goes to Luis Loya. The 2019 Lady White Face Volleyball Award goes to the 2019 state runner-ups. I think that this year we were a unique team, a unique group. And it took all 17 of us to complete the tasks that we had at hand. As a coaching staff, we all agreed that there wasn't a particular one or two or three people that made 
such an amazing season happened, but yet it was all 17 of us every day, day in, day out. And so to pick somebody for this award is just, it, it was just too hard. And so we decided that the entire group should get honored. Um, I think that accomplishing something as big as they did this year just needs to be recognized that it takes everybody and it takes everybody every day. And so I, as their coach, am super proud of the things that they accomplished. Um, I can tell you there's nobody in the state of Texas that works as hard as these girls did. And they were just a very, very special group. And it took each and every one of them to make up what was so awesome. And so I'd just like to present that award to these ladies and wish them all luck. And the seniors can't thank them enough for all the hard work they put in and the legacy that they're leaving behind. So I um, just want to thank the community and the parents for their involvement. And of course, these young student athletes that gave so many hours of their high school careers to me and trusted in our process and made something amazing happen. So congratulations. This year's Girl Wrestler of the Year Award goes to an athlete that breathes, sleeps, eats wrestling 24-7. Um, she has bettered herself in every way. Um, this year she made it all the way to regionals, which was a huge accomplishment for herself. Um, she will continue her wrestling career, wrestling for Ohio, and I want her to know that I am very proud of her. This year's wrestler, Girl Wrestler of the Year Award goes to Alexis Riojas. This year's Boys Wrestling Award goes to an athlete that I have known his whole life. Um, he's a good person on and off the mat. Um, every year I've seen him get stronger, faster, taller. Um, I've been able to see him compete at state, and that was a huge accomplishment for him. And um, I love also the fact that he is going to continue his wrestling career um, at Wayland. And I would like to present this year's Boy Wrestler of the Year to Victor Gutierrez. The 2020 Casey Smith Award goes to Hannah Wood. Hannah is not just an amazing volleyball player, but she's also a leader on and off the court. She was valedictorian for the class of 2020. She is very involved in the First Baptist Church Youth Ministry. She's also a big brother, big sister. She is just kind of the epitome of what you want a student athlete to look like and do. Um, I think her hard work showed that you can set a goal and you can achieve it. And she did that in multiple ways this year, I think. Her goal was for obviously for the volleyball team to get to the state championship and we did that and her goal since I've known her in the sixth grade was to be the valedictorian and she did that. So I think when you're talking about the Casey Smith Award, you're talking about people who are dedicated to their goals and dedicated to achieving something that's great and that's what she's done for her senior year and so super proud of Hannah and I know she's going to achieve amazing things as she moves on in life and we wish her the best of luck. Hey everyone, this year I have the honor and privilege to uh, award a special young man with the Casey Smith Award. Uh, as coaches, every year this is an award that, you know, we don't take lightly. We, we uh, always look to pick someone or an individual that stands out, and this year's vote was almost unanimous for this individual. Uh, this young man was a great leader on the football field for us. He also did tremendous things in, in his golfing game. and over the past three to four years had tremendous growth in those two areas but outside of the athletic realm of things this is just a young man that I look up to a lot I have a lot of respect for he was working really at everything he did he put a hundred percent into it you know he served on the student council body and was constantly working in in that aspect of his things he always took care of his grades in the classroom you know it's a tremendous character kid that you know, was raised and has tremendous parents and have done a great job, you know, with this kid. Uh, 
you know, just sitting and thinking about the kid, you know, we're going to miss this individual. He's done a lot for our programs. It's one of those diamond, you know, they don't come around all the time type kids, you know, and, you know, I just, you know, I want to thank this kid for his role model that he was to my son. I mean, my son wanted to be, you know, his number, you know, in football because he just thought the world of him. And so this year's Casey Smith Award winner is Slater McCracken. How are you doing? I'm Coach Huerta. I'm the girls track coach. Uh, I would like to give a special award this today to uh, a young lady who's spectacular. I mean, she goes out and beyond of what the word of fighting heart means. Uh, this young lady showed up this season with a prior injury and would not let anybody know so that uh, we would uh, pull her from uh, training. Um, this young lady, whenever she shows up to the track, she puts it all out there. Uh, she will put her teammates in front of herself. Um, she will go out and she will take care of business when, when asked to. And there was some times that I had to pull her from a certain event to put her in another event to better the team. No questions asked. She would always go out. She would do what she needed to do. This uh, Fighting Heart Award goes to Alyssa Vallejo. The 2019-2020 Fighting Heart Award goes to Alyssa Vallejo. I think when you talk about a true fighting heart, she has been a, a blessing to work with. She has done that for four years for us. She is always one of the hardest workers. Um, just one of those kids that you never really had to get on to about their work ethic or their heart or their intentions. And it just proved to show in her leadership and ability for what she was able to do for us on the court and as what she's done on the track. So I'm super proud of you, Alyssa, and I wish you great luck in your future endeavors and congratulations. In athletics, we use the word heart. But what is heart? How do we know if someone has heart? How do we define the word heart? Dr. Chris Stankovich defines the word heart as when you see an athlete give it all they have, often resulting in sports performances way above what was ever expected. Athletes who play with heart are usually laser focused, intrinsically motivated, excited about winning, and resilient towards setbacks and failures. Also, the word heart is defined as when an athlete lets go of their fears, anxieties, and simply competes only then will the greatest excitement be experienced while competing in sports. I believe this to be a true definition of heart. Over the past two seasons, I have had the honor of coaching such an athlete. This young man's passion, work ethic, and heart for the game, as well as for life, is like no other. It is my great honor to award this year's Fighting Heart Award to Marcos Ortiz. This year's 2019-2020 Student Athlete of the Year is one that was a two-sport All-Stater. And in this day and age, that's very, very rare to have someone who is so successful in both sports and is a leader in both sports and is such a, a state of Texas standout in both sports. Um, Tatum is a very unique young lady in a lot of ways. She has an amazing heart. And a lot of times with all that talent, sometimes people don't want to work as hard. But I can assure you Tatum Stowe is one of the hardest workers out there. Every time she steps on the floor, whether it be in practice, whether it be running, or whether it be the big game. Um, a lot of times as her coach, I told the team, you know, people are going to say, you got to stop the big girl. And the bottom line was they really couldn't. And so I think that... She is a excellent young lady and I am so excited for her future and so proud of all the things she accomplished this year and look forward to seeing what she will accomplish in the future. I would like to congratulate Tatum Stowe on being selected the Hereford High School Girls Athlete of the Year for 2019-2020 in basketball. 
Tatum Stowe averaged over 12 points a game and nine rebounds per game for the 24 and 10 regional semifinalist team. Tatum was selected as the District 3-4A Offensive Player of the Year. She was a TABC All-Region Basketball selection as well as a TGCA All-State player. Congratulations once again from the Hereford High School staff to Tatum Stowe for being selected as the Athlete of the Year. Well-deserved honor. Congratulations, Tatum. I'm Coach Smith. It's my privilege to be presenting this year's Athlete of the Year Award. When I think of what an athlete is, I think of a person who has great skill in their sport. Along with great skill, they must also be hard workers, dedicated, and must also be great leaders. This year recipient embodies all three of these. I've had the privilege for the past two years to be his position coach in football. Whether he was asked to play safety or corner, he did so with no complaints. Through injuries and pain, he took no days off. In basketball, he was a tremendous leader and always led by example. He was tough and a hard worker. The same can be said for baseball. Even though this year's baseball season was cut short, he was always a leader, making sure his teammates were at practice and always led by example. He is an athlete that every coach wishes to have on their team each year, no matter the sport. This year's Athlete of the Year award goes to Ty Davis. Congratulations, Ty.